Hello, third grade. We're going to continue looking at different types of sentences. Now, we did an overview of imperative, which ends in a period, declarative, that ends in a period, interrogative, that ends in a question mark, and exclamatory, that ends in an exclamation point. Today, we are focusing on interrogative questions. Whenever you hear the word interrogative, I want you to think interrogative because it sounds like a question. For our assignment today, we're going to be writing questions about each one of these topics. I will do three with you, and you'll do three on your own. Let's go ahead and begin. Now, a third grade question has a who, a what, and sometimes a how. So instead of writing, um, is the sun out? I can ask a more interesting question, like, have you ever woken up to the sun in your face? It is still a question. It is an interrogative sentence, but it adds more detail. Third grade sentences add a ton of detail in their writing. You can pause the video and type that out now if you need more time. Number two is earth. Now I could write a simple sentence like, did you know we live on earth? But that's more like a first grade or a second grade sentence. We're gonna write a third grade sentence. Did you know that the earth is the only place that has life. Third grade quality sentence. Pause the video and you can type that out. And number three. Now I could ask a simple sentence like, do you have a tennis racket? But I'm gonna write a um, a third grade level sentence. Who do you know that has a professional tennis racket? You can pause the video if you need to to finish writing these out. And then I want to see third grade interrogative sentences for a hammer, mountains, and oceans. Remember, third grade quality sentences use detail in the who and the what. Once you're finished, you can move on to the next activity for today.